So if you live in Chicago, I'm sure you heard because it's literally like breaking news. There's an alligator in Humble Park's lagoon, which I mean, if you from Chicago, you know there's no alligators here. But seriously, I was on Twitter last night. Sorry, this is loud. I was on Twitter last night and it was like when I say breaking news, there were like hour to hour updates. People were literally there were so many people. Um, by the lagoon it was like a whole crowd waiting to see the alligator there were helicopters all the news stations were out there and i'm like for a freaking alligator i don't know they also said that there's no gates up so um they were advising everyone to like stay out of the water because who knows where he could travel but i wonder if they ended up catching him because they said they were gonna set a trap last night since there was just so much commotion that they were like, he's not gonna come out, it's way too loud. But I just think it's hilarious. Like, I was literally watching this update, like, what is going, like, I'm sure there are worse things happening in Chicago. Like, I'm, I'm sure of it, but yeah, um, they said the alligator was like four to five feet long. Who knows how it got there i really wonder how it got there but i just thought that was hilarious so this is my two minute rant i just want to get it out there for whoever is in college or whoever is like around that age you really need to watch out with how you cope with things especially when you're in college it's very easy for you to cope in unhealthy ways in that environment because you're able to you're in a bubble and your consequences aren't too bad or you know like you can easily lean on drugs and alcohol to occupy your time not even that i don't know people like pop pills like all of that like it's well i guess that that's under drugs but you just have to be careful with how you deal with things. Um, I'm two years out of college now, and I'm like really, I ha I'm trying to get rid of my bad habits basically. And something that I started doing is I started painting. I am, I feel like I am a creative at the core. Like I really love to create things. I'm very artistic so I was looking to um, decorate my son's nursery and I was looking at the stuff I wanted it to be space themed so I was on Pinterest looking up all the space themes themed stuff and they have a bunch of um, wall decals basically and it is expensive so I was just like let me just paint them so I started painting and it's really I'm really enjoying it let me show you guys what I've done this is the first one like I said it's space themed and all of these are inspirations from Pinterest like I literally pull up the exact ones that I want and I just paint them this one is going to be a an astronaut's helmet it's actually Shay's dad's logo It's Sean's logo for kid media so I'm just trying to be more creative and using that as an outlet opposed to other things and i feel pretty good like i feel really good but i just wanted to like put that out there because i know a lot of people who left college with bad addictions alcohol addictions like because you spend four years living this carefree life you know and you can do that you can drink from Tuesday to Sunday, but in the real world, you can't, like, it does not fly, you know? So if you're in college, learn balance. It's actually crucial. It's a crucial time for you to set up the rest of your life, even though it's it feels like you have nothing to worry about, but you have a lot to worry about. And yeah, that's like, I feel like college really messed me up because I was like, not, not really messed me up, but... I was in a bubble and I didn't realize I was in a bubble until it popped. So that's my two cents. Develop good habits, replace your bad habits with good habits. You can't just quit something. You can, but then you're not going to know what to do with yourself, you know? So replace those habits with good habits. Take care of yourself, love yourself. And that's the end of my rant. But 
Yes. Um, I really should get ready since Shay is sleeping right now. I am still breaking out, but it is what it is. Um, it was that time of the month last week, and I'm surprised that it hasn't cleared up. But it's all good. Look at my nails. I love them. Like, I cannot stop looking at them. And I feel like whenever they're wet, like if I'm doing the dishes or I'm in the shower, they look phenomenal. So I am a minimalist. I don't really like too much. Before this, I had white a white set. So I really don't do color on my nails. But this is perfect. Like, seriously, this is just enough extraness for me. So I wanted to try you know be more creative and what's the word i don't know i just wanted to try new things if you guys don't know i do work at a nail salon my sister has a nail salon my parents have a nail salon so it's kind of in my blood to do nails excuse you sir so um yeah, I just wanted to try new things. Like, I get it done for free, so why not, you know? So, to tell you guys a little bit about these. These are encapsulated nails. Shay, baby, I understand. These are encapsulated nails what that means is that the stars are actually underneath the acrylic powder so you can't tell looking this way but if you look from the back I guess you can tell another thing I should add is that it's on clear tips so if you get your nails done when they put the tip on it's like this cloudy like dull milky kind of shade which is fine that's like the traditional you know like that's what everyone gets but this set, I want it clear just so that the stars can show more. But that way underneath, you see, like depending on how the light hits it, it's, oh, it's fire. So it's encapsulated on clear tips. Um, also with encapsulation, something to keep in mind is that you can not get rid of it. So when I go and get a fill, it's still going to be underneath, you know, so I can put polish over it i can you know polish over it and it'll cover it but they'll always be underneath which i think is cool because i'm gonna try that next time put polish over it and then see if this still shines through underneath this kid is like oh my goodness so yeah i just want to show you guys my nails my sister did these, she always does my nails. I'll link all of our social media and like all of our information. If you're in Chicago, we're on the north side in Rogers Park. Definitely check us out. Boop, 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 boop. Check our Instagram first because uh, yeah, we do any and everything. Like anything you would like, if you have a picture of it or an idea, we got you. So. Yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. I love these. And I know people are going to judge me for having long nails and a little baby. But trust me, his butt is clean. And I don't poke him. Right? See, mommy's a pro at this stuff. Mommy's a pro at this stuff. Yeah, guys. I think he needs my full undivided attention today. So, I will catch you guys in a little bit. So I just put Shay down for a nap. So I'm gonna hurry up and crimp my hair. I haven't had the time to crimp my hair, so I've been washing it like every other day. My hair gets super oily um, when it's straight. I think it's because I touch it a lot when it's straight. I'm like constantly flipping it back and forth. So um, I'm gonna hurry up and crimp it. Hopefully it lasts me a good three, four days. And yeah, so look at my hair growing back from postpartum look at this this is like ridiculous every time i shower 
it's like a clump of hair um, that falls out. I actually had a dream last night that this that I have up here was like all back here from my hair growing out. But um, yeah, I am going to hurry up and go through this. So I feel like a tip when you're crimping your hair is to use a low setting. When you use a high setting, my goodness, when you use such a high setting, it ends up burning your hair and leaves you the like, I don't know, I just feel like it's so crispy crimped that it's not as cute. Like I would rather have it soft crimped so that it's more like waves, you know? And it's really annoying for me to crimp my hair because it's so short. My hair looks so nice crimped when it's long. Any hair looks nice crimped, I mean, you know, crimped when it's long because, I don't know, you can see the effects of it much more, you know? But yeah, my hair is still growing out. I'm not really tripping about it anymore. I was really sad at first because I was just like, oh my God, when is it going to end? But I do see um, less hair falling out when I shower, so not too bad the rose down here the hair down here i don't really i crimp it maybe once or twice i don't really focus on it too much just because no one really sees it as long as it has some waves in it i'm good like see i don't even have enough hair to crimp it twice really like barely so i do the bottom row really fast just get it out the way when I crimp my hair, I usually crimp it at night. Like I said, I like the softer look. Like I hate crimping it and going right outside. I just feel like it looks so crispy and uniform. Like I don't really like that. I don't like that look. So. Today is Friday and I'm actually getting a lot of work done. Um, I actually edited like four videos today. Um, it's only two o'clock. I, I woke up at nine, got straight to work. Um, yeah, I've been changing up my routine and it's helped me a lot. Like, for example, I when I wake up, I usually go and clean my house right away. I'm usually picking up stuff from like the night before like for the most part when I'm at night when I'm tired I'm just like I'm gonna do it in the morning so today instead of spending an hour or two on cleaning my house I spent the first hour or two editing videos um, and that really put me into the swing of things you know once for me at least once I'm done cleaning I'm like alright let me hop on the couch let me chill out, you know, like I deserve to chill out after cleaning this house. So it really, I don't know, it really did something for me today when I, I flipped my routine because around like 12 or so, I ended up cleaning my house and I feel like it took much shorter. Like it didn't take very long for me to clean my house. Um, so yeah, you guys, I'm telling you like this is my life now. It's kind of crazy that it is but my day-to-day -day life is literally like oh let me put my baby to sleep let me clean my house i don't know when i'm gonna get tired of it or if i ever will get tired of it but i just know that this is where my life is right now and it doesn't mean that it'll be forever you know i'm just <coughs> excuse me i'm just enjoying the time that i have to do this it's, it's really a privilege and I know that for me to be able to stay home and be a mom really especially how young I am I know a lot of people who had to like get right back to work and all of that but because I have family businesses I'm able to be really flexible with my schedule um and yeah 
So as you can see, as I am getting closer to my top layers, my hair is actually getting longer. So I have more room to put crimps in it. The difference when you crimp your hair and when you curl your hair is that when you curl it, you want to grab, how do I explain it? Well, okay, I'll say it like this. When you crimp your hair, you want it to be horizontal. So like when you section your, your hair, section it across as opposed to when you curl your hair, at least when I do with the wand, I just grab a chunk. I feel like this looks the best when it is um, done to a strip of hair that's going across like this. But that's just, that's just me. I haven't curled my hair in so long because I have no hair to curl. So I'm like waiting. My hair was so long. Maybe I'll like insert photos for you guys, but I do miss it. It's at such an ugly length right now. I know I just complained about it in the previous clip. So like, for example, you see when I do it, I section it off like that. And you see how it goes across. It's like a thicker chunk as opposed to like, let's say if you were to um, curl your hair, it would look like this. It's the thicker chunk that is more up and down. When I crimp it, it's more so, it's thinner, but it goes further along my head. Yeah, today is Friday. I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna put on some makeup. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything today, but I just want to take care of myself. I've been vlogging basically all week, and as you guys can see, I have not had makeup on all week. <laughs> and a part of it is because I'm busy editing these videos, so whenever Shay's asleep, I'm like, let me just hurry up and get some of these videos out the way. But I love taking care of myself. Like, I love doing my hair, I love doing my makeup. Even if it's 10, 15 minutes, it's just really nice to just have that time to yourself to do something to make yourself feel better. See, when you do a, a thicker or like a longer width, you see how it kind of, it looks, I don't know, to me it looks nicer. But this is also why I like waiting a day. I hate how you can see every line and ridge. I don't like that at all. I wanted to do this last night, but I washed my hair last night and it wasn't even fully dried before I went to sleep. And that's why it looks a little frizzy right now. Like if it were dry before I went to sleep, it would be much more tamed. And I'm sure half of you watching this video is like, what are you talking about? Because I actually have very fine, straight, silky hair, so I don't have much to complain about. Which every time I complain about my hair, my friends are like, shut up. So I try not to. It took me about I think it took me a little a little more than 10 minutes to do this which with my hair long or short it doesn't take me long to do my hair and I think it's because my hair is so fine it is able to you know be crimped and curled and stuff and if you have fine hair the less product you put into your hair the better because the more product you put in, it actually just weighs down your hair. And that's a mistake I used to make when I was younger. Because it wouldn't stay, I would want to put more and more product in my hair. So I would put like mousse and a bunch of stuff in my hair and it would never stay. Like my hair would always fall. So my hair only works with um, a curling wand. A crimp is actually like the best for me. Um, and a, a straightener, I guess. I don't know how to curl my hair with a straightener though. But after that, because it's a little like, you know, big and poofy, 
I'm just gonna put a little bit of jojoba oil and this I it's actually for my skin I think yeah I mean it says your face neck and other areas but I always put it in my hair there I've seen some products with jojoba oil in it so I'll put like three drops and I'm always scared to do this just because I do not want my hair to look oily And because my hair is shedding, which man, you can't see it right now, but I have a bunch of stupid flyaways. I just can't wait to get my hair back, guys. I probably will never cut it again. <laughs> but I just have to try things one or two times before I'm like, all right, never again. Like I, when I was in college, my hair was actually red. Um, it was burgundy. But now I'm like never again like i'm gonna be black forever I, I might dye my hair um what is it called it's not jet black but like with that hint of blue like that bluish black because i think that's really cool and it's not like the blue that you think it's just like when the sun hits it it gives it like another color but indoors and stuff it'll still be black but okay this is how i do my hair i'm gonna wash my face and do my face really quick and then yeah finally get my day started hopefully it's like i said it's two o'clock so i'm gonna get myself together and yeah do you guys like it this side always comes out much nicer and i think it's the way that i hold the the crimper you know but yeah so now that i got that done um my hair is gonna be good for the next few days even like when I'm ready to wash it, I could just throw it up in like a half pony and it still looks good. So this is going to help me grow out my hair because my hair gets oily, but that oil is good for your hair. Um, it's your natural oil and it keeps your scalp moisturized and stuff. And I think that helps with hair growth. I'm no hairstylist, so this is just my experience. This is how I got my hair to grow before I had to cut it again um to like straighten everything out but yeah all right catch you guys later okay makeup is done i still don't do anything extra or new for my makeup i actually need to go and buy new makeup but that's just not priority right now so it is what it is but look here you can see oh my goodness look it's more, but I put um, jojoba oil on my hair. But um, yeah, flyaways are crazy right now. But it's cool. At least my hair is growing back, right? No complaints. So Shay is still sleeping. I'm going to go ahead and make some food because I haven't ate all day and it's 2.30. I ended up jumping in bed instead. So here we are. Um, I don't know why, but I've been so tired lately. Like every single day around two three o'clock i'm like uh it's time for a nap and i haven't taken a nap since i was pregnant like i i can't even get myself to take it to take a nap you know but for the last week i've just been every single day i've been taking a nap which is it's kind of weird do you guys see that sean gave me that um for christmas the first year that we met we we were only like together for like a month or so but he made that for me it's a football jersey and it has the number 25 on it because that's our number um it has his last name and then it has coleman because he is the bros and i am a delta if you don't know anything about black greek orgs i don't even feel like explaining it maybe if you want to google it but <laughs> if you do know we do have Coleman Love, and that is, that's where he got it from. Down here is like a little poem, and then it's like two pictures of us from college. Very thoughtful. All of his Christmas gifts have been thoughtful. Another one of his Christmas gifts, he went to China, and he went to China for work, and he ended up getting one of my pictures painted, and yeah, it was beautiful. If you didn't know my birthday just passed it was on june 28th and um i just turned 25 and i'm like what 
do I want this year to be like, you know? And I always pick a word for everything. Like I pick a word for the year. I pick a word for like this and that because it's easier for me to focus on it. So my word for my 25th year is consistency. And um, I want to constantly be creating stuff, whether it's for YouTube, whether it's to put on a hard drive for my son, whatever it is, I just want to be documenting and creating things consistently, you know? Um, I was actually talking to one of my friends about this yesterday. Being such an emotional person, when you don't feel good, when I don't feel good, I don't want to do anything. Like, I'm like, let me just lay in bed. I just need to chill out. Like, I don't feel like doing it. You know, and I just don't, I don't want my emotions to disable me, to be like a disability, you know? Like, I don't want it to be, um, I just don't want that to have that. I don't want that to have that kind of effect on me because it's so temporary, you know? So, yeah, if you're wondering why I just, I don't know where I'm back on YouTube, that's why. You know, within the next year, even if my videos are, you know, just where it's at, at least I have a year worth of content that I could look back on. I was looking back on my videos and I have videos with Sean from when we were in college and it's like... If I were to look for that footage now, I'd be like digging through hard drives trying to look for it, you know? And it's it's different when it's just on YouTube and I'm able to just watch it again. So, I don't know. That's kind of my focus. That's kind of what I want to do with this channel. So, I am editing this video and I realized I didn't do a proper outro. So, I just wanted to step in and say thank you so much for watching. Um, if you got this far, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... And yeah, I will be back in a few days with more. I And hopefully I won't be looking like this. I'm looking at the whole video like, girl, what the heck? I mean, update my skin is clearing up. But the one thing, if you guys can help me, if you guys have any advice. Um, I end up with a bunch of acne scars. So you see, like, these aren't really bumps anymore. They're just a bunch of scars. And no, I don't pop my pimples. I don't I don't mess with it at all, really. So I don't know. That's what, if you guys have any advice, let me know. Other than that, hopefully I'll be back next week looking a little less crazy. Like, I really look crazy. But these days, I feel like I just don't care anymore. Like, I just feel so good inside. I don't even care how I look on the outside. And I guess I would rather have that than being beautiful on the outside and being miserable on the inside so yeah i'll catch you guys later and again thank you so much